Calvin Schumer was a 16-year-old teenage boy with so much promise and a beam of light to his family. He lived in Huba village under Chief Madiwa in Gai. So much expectation was laid on his future as a son, as a brother. Unfortunately, something dark and evil was brooding in his mind that no human eye could see. He was prematurely introduced to sexual intercourse by his aunt. She began taking advantage of him to quench her own sexual perversions from a young age. Because of this, he grew more and more curious about the act of sex to an extent that he started eyeing his neighbor's nine-year-old daughter. His desires grew stronger and stronger until one day he allowed his intrusive thoughts to win. It was on a late afternoon, the 21st of May 2021, as she was coming back from school, skipping down the path. He met her in the forest as he was coming back from the shops and intercepted her. He lured her deeper into the forest by offering her jiggies. She then followed him, trusting him as someone she had known since birth. But unfortunately, this was the worst mistake she had made in her young life. He grabbed her pressed her to the ground and raped her. After the rape, reality began to set in his mind that he was probably going to jail for a very long time and his family would disown him. He made the brutal decision to end her life there and then. He then strangled and choked her with his two hands until she stopped resisting and he knew that she had died. He fled the scene and left her lying on the ground. Her parents were worried because she had not showed up at the house and they alerted the neighbors. They contacted the school and the school confirmed that she had left for home when class ended. The parents and the neighbors began to search for her in the forest. She was only found dead at around 8 p.m. that night. Her school uniform was up her waist. Her skin tights were torn. Her legs were spread apart and she had blooded privates, an indication of the brutal act done to her before she was killed. The villagers, led by Mbini Nkiwane, who was also a neighbor to the deceased, dragged shoe prints from the crime scene to Sikulile Maposa's homestead, where Calvin was staying. They threatened to beat the young man until he confessed to killing the nine-year-old. They then contacted the police who came and arrested him, and he was charged with murder. The court established that he had an intention to kill and it was premeditated to cover his evil act. Justice Makones said that he had violated the poor girl in a vile and brutal way and that he had to learn even though he was still a minor himself. He also said that the boy proved to be manipulative and callous with zero regard to human life. He was sentenced to eight years for one count of rape and 20 years for one count of murder.